What happened to that last video? I'll make sure I'm live here. Anyway, I'm just making this for this channel. I just, it doesn't, what he's doing doesn't make any sense. If your agenda is just to keep saying, don't use the pager, that doesn't make any sense. I mean, it's, it's the same tool. You're trying to advocate this tool, but yet saying this part of the tool isn't effective. That doesn't make any sense. So you would be better off to say this is what's possible with the tool and it's not possible to get this result any other way. Not post a video where you cannot keep your hands off the dog, even with a phone and a remote. You don't understand the shake off, Jamie. The shake off that this dog is chronically doing throughout this video is a result of you forcing yourself on the dog. It's forced engagement. That's why dogs do that. If you said, no, I just had an itch every time, in three minutes and four, even with the remote in your hand, you've got the least introspective body language I've ever seen. You, you probably touched the dog a dozen and a half times. If you said that increases engagement, not based on that video, it doesn't. If you said, what else am I doing wrong? First, you start out the video, the dog gives you the shake off. You're not moving away. You've got a slip lead. You've got to hook the lead to the electronic collar. If you said, why? I was told not to. By who? Who is your mentor or who has tutored you, Jamie? Because if you said Jim and Phyllis Dobbs, the people that developed the e-collar, I'd say not that I can see and I'll ask Phyllis. So who has tutored you? Who has mentored you? Who has helped you develop this? I don't even see methodology. You're not training in drive. And if you said the reward is love and petting, it's giving you the shake off. That's a proven body language expression. You are what's called macro expressions. You don't have any micro expressions. That's why the dog is constantly looking away. A macro expression is this. If you said, what's a micro expression? That's not even a micro expression. A micro expression would be this, or this, or this. <laughs> you know, not this. Not even with the remote in your hand. You've only got one finger free. You're rubbing its face. It's, it's looking, where can I go? It doesn't make any sense. You're not training and drive. You can't keep your hands off the dog. You're not. There's. There's nothing there. It's, it's not a methodology and, and to proceed. To, so maybe what I should do, so maybe here's an idea, Jamie. Let's just get them to ban the pager on the e-collar since it's so bad. We can start a petition. We can go out in public and I'll say, do you mind holding this and give me your opinion as to the level of pain on the level zero to 10? I'll go out and do this. I'm sure we'll have it banned in no time. The, pay, the collar will then only have the stem. Get rid of the nick too. The little metal stem. Oh, it's ridiculous. You should be saying, this is what I can do with this collar that you cannot do without it. If you said, that's yeah, that is what I'm doing, Jamie. My advice is to take a good hard look at my, the last, just look at the last 10 videos I've uploaded. And then post them, any one of them, on your page and explain to you. Here, let me show you here, 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 and here. First off, she doesn't put her hands on the dog. Second off, the dog's fucking tripping over itself to try to figure out what she wants. She's hitting the page or it's doing this, that, and the other. But this is proof positive it doesn't work. Okay. You're terrible, Jamie. I mean, you really are. For someone to be that unaware, if you said, well... I've totaled up the footage that I filmed myself training of dogs and it equals three hours of footage. I'd say, I believe that. I believe that because for somebody not to notice the shake off. Oh, hi, Kayla. I saw you did break up with your boyfriend. <laughs> you said, mind your own business, lady. I just wondered. I just wondered. Just the, just the stuff you were posting. If you said the song lyrics. <laughs> what happened to this guy he was in every picture then he's gone if you said well that's what they say the Facebook friends are owed an explanation <laughs> Kayla's like yeah get over yourself anyway that's what it is you should be posting I'm saying there isn't anybody else that you know I, I've got dogs doing service work I got puppies I got everything else doing this stuff with the pager so you saying it's 
aversive and just shows that you don't get it, the fact that you can't keep your hand off the dog. If you said, I've got a better off-leash recall, better trained to retrieve, better healing, better everything than you, no, you don't. You're not even close, Jamie. If you said, I've totaled up my footage that I've got on YouTube and on Facebook, and it totals three to four hours of footage that I have reviewed of my training. I say, that sounds about right, because there's no detail, and the devil is in the detail, and you've got nothing but macro expressions. You don't have a micro expression anywhere. To fucking have a fucking remote in your hand and a phone in the other hand, and you still, your plan is to reach down with one finger and pet the dog while it goes... Flipping the leash away from you. It's, it's, you're terrible, Jamie. You are an awful trainer. My advice is to take a good hard look at my work. <laughs> Get over yourself, lady. It's true, though. It's true. You're not going to be able to. Oh, hi, Sharon. It's just beyond me. Please get on there and say something to this moron. I need you to ask him how many dogs have you actually collar conditioned and to what level and where the fuck can I view these fucking animals? You don't talk like that, so <laughs> can't decode it, but that's the reality of it. How many dogs have you actually collar conditioned and to what level and where can I fucking view the work? Because there isn't any, you know, this guy's too busy babbling. And if you said, what about this Adam Spivey? Yeah, if you said, well, I totaled up his YouTube and everything else, and it's it's two hours and 45 minutes worth of footage, I'd say that much, huh? <laughs> if you said, I totaled up your YouTube a decade's worth of work, and it's... 800 hours of video, I'd say that sounds about right. <laughs> he said, I can find all kinds of awful videos. Okay, forget about the awful videos. You should see the outfits I used to wear back then. No wonder people thought I was so strange. I'd go into town in these outfits. It must not be my fault. I was buying them at Bell's Outlet. <laughs> anyway, forget about that. But, you know, that that's the reality of it. These people that this guy doesn't even notice. Who would start a training video out as a serious pro rubbing the dog's head for several seconds? If you said, just forget about the fact the dog doesn't like it and everything else, what is the other reason this is not a viable reward? It fucking takes too long. Dogs are operating. When we say shit happens so fast, that's normal speed to them. When the turtle says, I took off, I was only walking, turtle. <laughs> I was only walking. So what we think as fast is their normal speed. <laughs> anyway, this guy is really bad, Sharon. I, I hate to even ask you to do that, but I, I am tired of these people. As long as I am on this earth, you lying and saying the pager is ineffective is a lie. And you need to be called out as a liar. And the fact that you Jamie Penrith actually are this much of a handsy motherfucker. God, it's disgusting to watch. I just watched it without sound first. And if you said what it is, started out with, if you said German Shepherds like their ears crushed down, and what do you know about German Shepherds? I can tell you that the very first import I owned was back in the 80s. The dog's name was Igor von der Mintquelli. It was a Schutzen three. It was V1 in confirmation. It was core class 1A for life. It was OFA good. It didn't have any elbows. We didn't do elbows back then. And if you said, who was its father? I can't remember the father. But. So I do know a little bit about, I knew enough in the 80s to buy a dog that was V1, Schutzen 3, core classed 1A for life, that ended up with, it was anormal, and it went OFA good. So I do know a little bit about German Shepherds, Jamie. And if you said, well, in the 80s, I was in third grade, good for you. Good for you, and I bet you were in front of class, show and tell, telling, not showing, just like you are now. Anyway, I'm going outside to train. Anyway, Janice, I don't want you to worry about Banjo. You need to come and work with him, though. I'm sorry. I just could not do it that one week. And 
I know, I just get myself, if you said you do it to yourself, Kelly, and you do it to yourself too, Janice, where you just don't want to tell anybody no, and you just overbook your schedule, and then pretty soon, the sun is going down. <laughs> what happened? What happened? I swear to God, I, got, I go to bed at 6 o'clock. It's true. I, then I get up at again at midnight and start working. It's disgusting. I'll be right back. I'm going to go get a collar. And I'm going to go show you. I mean, just there's no reason. There's no reason to listen to this guy. He's that bad. Do you think you're going to keep on with the methodology of rubbing this dog's head for weeks and weeks and weeks? And that's going to result in high engagement when it's giving you the shake off already. It's not. You're systemically killing the engagement. Anyway, I've been trying to call Godfrey. I want all of you to go on his page and send him messages because I hope he's okay. I promised him. I promised him that I would figure out a way to meet up for dinner before Christmas and the countdown is on. So he's gonna have to get himself straightened up enough that at least he can meet me somewhere. I hope he likes sushi. I could take him to Sapporo. Yeah. Or whatever it's called. Uh, no, it's not called Sapporo. It's that place in Altamont. What's the name of it, Janice? It's that sushi place. Anyway, he probably doesn't like sushi. Anyway, you guys, I'm going out there, but it does. It puts a little knot in my stomach for these people. It doesn't, but it just doesn't make any sense. For Jamie Penrith, you should be promoting the tool, not saying, well, you know, part of the tool is good, but the pager part is bad. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. And you don't, you, 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 We'll never have scientific proof. I'm getting in touch with this woman, Peggy Hill. I don't give a damn. That it's causing any pain. If you said pain receptors can't light up, they can't. It's all external. It's all external. If you said, well, the stimulus is all internal. Yes, it's all internal. It's all internal. If you said, well, I like things going internally that I can't control. Not me! I get the slightest little mess of cramp. Oh, I'm very upset. I start hitting my thigh. I get these cramps. I start hitting my leg. <laughs> he said, does it help? No, but it deflects. Anyway, I'm going out there right now. But You know, Jamie, you're not training and drive. You can't keep your hands off the dog. The dog's giving you the shake off. You're using the wrong leash. You're, you're doing everything wrong. You're not using a platform, you're not operating in any methodology. You've got very, very limited experience collar conditioning dogs, from what I can say. Total up the number of dogs you've collar conditioned, Jamie. Total up the number of hours of footage that you've got. And I'm willing to bet this week alone, and I didn't, I didn't, um, I didn't shoot any footage yesterday because I worked all day fixing the new Primrose Puppy School. I'm gonna unveil it. I'll show you. I've fixed up the new Primrose Puppy School. Here we go. Oh, ready to go. Oh, oh sorry. Hang on. Anyway, I gotta get the decorations in, but. I got the climb ready. I got the new floor. I got the crates. I'm already, you know, got the crates in there. So I get them crate trained. And they got new rugs, and they're gonna have their grass to use for the bathroom. And that's gonna be the trainer station, the climb. And I'm gonna start doing a shape delivery to hand. And I actually think a vibrating platform would be kind of cool. If you said you could make it vibrate, they'd run over there. I think they would. I think they would, based on what I've seen. Anyway, it's very exciting work, and it does. I don't want to let this guy get in my, you know, but he's so wrong that he needs to be set straight. He really does. He's so wrong. And it's ridiculous that just who starts a video rubbing a dog and giving it the shake off and then is unaware of it. If you said, well, if he's unaware of that, what else is he unaware of? <laughs> exactly. 
Exactly. 